We're going to look at the double Turkish getup. Sarah's going to demo. We've got some light kettlebells to make sure that we can pause through the various uh, phases of the lift. The very first thing before she acquires the kettlebells, picks them up, is to make sure she's inserting her hand. And just like in the single Turkish getup, you need to get 45 degrees. The handle runs 45 degrees, the wrist is straight. You don't want to try this picking it up with two bent wrists with the handle running across the top of your fingers. All right? She gets her 45. We're going to watch the first phase. She's going to press it out. Notice the breathing. Always a pressurized breath, keeping tension, just like in a single Turkish getup. Next, to get up into the next position, she's going to use the legs. Excellent. Okay. Nice overhead position. You have to have the mobility and flexibility to get into this. See how she can line her shoulders up. Back is straight. Okay. Next phase. This position should be familiar to those of you who have taken our mobility course. All right. She's going to the next phase. She's going to work up to the knees. All right. Okay. From here, we're getting into the lunge. Note the back foot, her back foot over here, she's on the toes, right here. So she's ready to get up in a nice powerful lunge. And she goes up, excellent. Okay, from here we're in fixation, the bells are locked out. She's going to simply reverse the position. Start heading down, under control. Next position, back to the knees. And again, next transition, good. Then she's going to switch it around, get the feet in front. Now watch here, slowly working her way back down. Control. Excellent. Then the bells come down, she can rest. So she's using breath the whole time to keep that intra-abdominal pressure. She's making sure to have acquired the kettlebells by putting the handles kind of hanging off the thumb, 45 degrees. And most importantly, this version, the reason we're showing you this one, is because it requires lots of flexibility and mobility from the person doing it. So this is a good challenge for you. If you get up, if I get Sarah, just go up into this position where the legs are in front. Yeah. For many people, they cannot even sit in this position. They round their back, right? They end up bending the knees a little bit. This is for hamstring flexibility, amongst other things. You need to be able to get into this position. If you are not there yet, this is a great reason for you to work your flexibility. Work your flexibility to acquire this position. Once you have this position, let's look at your overhead position. Are you able to support the weights, the weights with your skeletal structure? Can you have them wind up overhead? Or is your overhead somewhere in front? If this is your overhead, the weights don't lie. As soon as you try the double Turkish get up, you're going to find the weights on the floor in front of you. Right? You need to have this kind of range of motion. So, thanks. This is going to challenge your range of motion. It's going to challenge your flexibility, your mobility, and your strength. Double Turkish get up. Enjoy.